welcome back to the latest episode of This Guy's Thoughts. Uh, tonight's episode features a brew from uh, Diamond Knot Brewing. This here is their um, India Pale Ale. It's their IPA. Um, Diamond Knot uh, Craft Brewing out of uh, uh, McIltio, Washington. I'm sure I didn't pronounce that name right, but... Um, Right there is where they're out of. Um, this here is coming in at uh, six point uh, two percent alcohol by volume, and uh, Untapped said it was uh, fifty IBU, but I think the website said it might have been sixty nine IBU. So um, fifty to sixty nine IBU somewhere in there. Um, the can itself is actually pretty neat. It's got some uh, like octopus uh, tentacles on it. Um, the uh, India Pill L just uh, rented or uh, printed on there. Kind of neat coloring to it. Um, I like the way the uh, orange and red contrast with the uh, kind of the black can with the grayish uh, off-color tentacles there kind of neat um, this here says um, it's got it says a little bit about it on the can I'm not gonna read the whole thing there but um, it says uh, with aromas of grapefruit and cedar so um, we'll see it says in honor of the tenacity of the diamond knot crew we've canned our IPA a monster at the time it was first kegged in 1994 uh, hop forward with aromas of grapefruit and cedar. All right, so I didn't read the whole thing, just that little part there. So this was originally canned in 1994. Um, I've never um, had this. In fact, until I saw it and picked it up, um, I never heard of this before. So um, definitely going to crack it open and uh, get a little drink on and see what uh, this is all about. <clears throat> All right, started to get a little bit of an explosion there. Uh, looks very, um, very carbonated. <clears throat> Set this can there. Uh, let's see here. We got, can't really see through it at all. If, even if I hold it up to the light, I can see a vague uh, silhouette on the other side. But uh, a lot of carbonation going on in there. Uh, an off-white head up on top of it. Probably looking at about, uh, about a finger and a half head on this thing. Aroma. I don't really pick up the cedar. I guess it might be in there. I, I pick up more of a pininess to it. Kind of a floral um, aroma coming off of it. A citrusy uh, aroma as well. But definitely um, mild citrus, floral, pininess. I guess there could be hints of cedar in there in the background. Uh, good looking. Uh, color wise, I guess we'd be calling that, um, oh, a light amber, golden amber color on this thing well um, heads dying down pretty quick uh, it's got some fairly good lacing going on on it so let's go ahead and get a drink on okay definitely um, multi very multi I am picking up some hints of caramel. Not very bitter, whether it's 50 or 69 IBU, whatever. I'm thinking it's probably more in the 50 range. Then again, that bitterness could be tamed um, by the malty taste to it. 
it does got that caramel, that, um, I don't want to say coffee, but caramel toffee um, taste going on to it. Uh, it's really not that bad. Um, I think they call this a Northwest IPA on the uh, website. Honestly, um, I think on the old chart here, zero, I don't want to see this crap again. Uh, six, I'd push an old person to get the last one. Four, meaning um, I would drink this anytime it's available. I think... And three meeting, I drink it if it's all they had, which would just be average. I think I'm probably going to give this about a 3.75 out of 6. Definitely um, a nice refreshing um, taste to some of the IPAs I've been drinking. Um, but this definitely has that malty, caramel... Not really picking up a lot of citrus in the taste. I can I pick it up in the aroma, but not in the taste. Um, go out, pick it up for yourself. If you've had uh, this here or anything from Diamond Knots, uh, drop a comment. Let me know what you think about it. Um, but definitely worth trying out. That's my thoughts. <laughs>